PTSD. PTSD is a type of anxiety disorder that can come on at any age. It occurs after you've seen or experienced a traumatic event that involved the threat of injury or death. It can follow a natural disaster such as a flood or fire or events such as assault, domestic abuse, prison stay, rape, terrorism, or war. Chris's family brought him in for treatment because his symptoms are extreme and began affecting his daily life. Some symptoms of PTSD include startling easily, flashback episodes, repeated upsetting memories of the events, strong, uncomfortable reactions to the situations that remind you of the event, and having outbursts of anger. Let's watch as Nurse Chelsea attempts to wake Chris up to get his day started. a patient with PTSD from behind. Also, the nurse should never awake the patient by grabbing or even touching them as previously seen. This can cause a trigger in the patient to have a flashback, causing self-directed harm or harm to others. Overall, the nurse should try to avoid any movement that will start the, startle the PTSD patient. Another thing that Nurse Chelsea did wrong was the way that she handled patient's outburst of anger. The nurse should have never approached the patient in a threatening way. This will cause the patient to become more anxious, hostile, and uncooperative, thus escalating the situation. Another thing that Nurse Chelsea did wrong was that was labeling the patient by using derogative names such as crazy and wacko. It's important to make a distinction between the person and the illness. It's just as important to listen to the patient if they are crying out. Let's watch as Nurse Chelsea shows the correct way to care for a patient with PTSD. She made sure to avoid any unnecessary and unexpected touching. When the patient was having a flashback, an outburst of anger, the nurse used a calm approach to help the patient. She treated the patient with respect and dignity as you would anyone else. When the patient was expressing his emotions and talking about his flashback, the nurse listened and helped reassure the patient. When caring for a patient with PTSD, patient education is often the first step to patient recovery. However, it is important 
important to remember that not every patient is ready to admit that they have PTSD. It's not uncommon to see patients in denial about their illness, especially if they come from a military background. It's important for the nurse to teach each patient who suffers from PTSD that they are having a natural response to unnatural events. This will help prevent patients from stigmatizing themselves because they are having difficulty coping with their emotions. It's essential that patients learn stress management skills so that they can deal with their anxiety and alarm reactions appropriately. These skills help patients stay in the here and now and when their minds start drifting down